Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has refused to comment on the police investigation into the alleged racist comments made by Tory party donor Frank Hester. Yeah, this comes as Mr Hester's alleged racist comments from 2019 are being investigated by West Yorkshire Police. Now, a spokesperson for the force said officers were now working to establish the facts and to ultimately ascertain whether a crime has been committed. Hopefully they can do that quite quickly. Well, you'd hope, wouldn't you? Should we get some more on this with our political correspondent, Olivia Utley, joining us live now from Westminster? Because, Olivia, this will have come as an unwelcome surprise to many people uh, in the building depicted behind you who sort of thought this story had gone away. But no, here it comes back with a police well, investigation. Absolutely. I mean, it is a huge headache for Rishi Sunak. Just if you'll cast your minds back to a couple of weeks ago when this scandal all kicked off, uh, it was reported to The Guardian that Frank Hester, a Conservative Party donor who's donated about £10 million to the party, made some comments, in uh, racist comments, in 2019. Now... Over the next couple of days, Rishi Sunak and his ministers stopped short of actually saying that those comments were racist until Kemi Badenoch, one cabinet minister, uh, bit the bullet and said that no, in fact, what Frank Hester said was racist. Sure enough, other government ministers then uh, filed in behind her, said that those comments were racist and slowly but surely it felt as though the story was ebbing away. Now, though, it is back in the headlines once again because West Yorkshire Police have opened an investigation to see if a crime was committed when Frank Hester allegedly made these comments. Now, it's difficult for Rishi Sunak, not only because obviously the Conservative Party accepting £10 million from, uh, from a racist would be a, a very bad look indeed, but also because it, it, it brings this, it rakes back through this entire story, which was a pretty bad episode in Rishi Sunak's uh, premiership. He failed to show leadership. He failed to show the leadership uh, required to come forward first and say that these comments were racist. And for that, he got a lot of flack, both from backbenchers and from the public. So it's a real headache for him that this this has come out again, particularly as over 50% of the population already think the Conservative Party should hand back that 10 million pounds mm. and if this investigation drags on then that percentage is very likely to go up well mm. thank you very much indeed olivia um yes another headache for rishi sunak we seem to say headache for rishi sunak nearly every day um, yes, at yes, the moment too. but we'll see how this police investigation goes should we speak to um Wayman bennett from stand up to racism that's a group campaigning against racism fascism islamophobia and anti-semitism um wayman yeah. you have welcomed this police investigation, am I right? I think that, you know, everybody's equal in front of the law. And um, it's one of the best things that could be done is an investigation into seeing if it was incitement and um, that Mr. Hester's held accountable for his words and deeds. And that's what we'd expect by British law. Um, I think one of the things that is disappointing is that, as you said, the failure of the prime minister to call out racism has actually made it worse because there would have been probably a means of just sending the money back and condemning it, and that would have drawn a line under it. But unfortunately, he hasn't done that. Uh, and to be honest with you, neither has Mr Starmer played a very good role in backing up his own MP in saying that there should be some kind of investigation because we want to get rid of, as you said, racism, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism. We want to build a British society in which that's not a feature of it. Mm. It's an ongoing work of progress. Wait, but this wait, is wait something which... How do you think it helps? How do you think it helps to litigate comments from five years ago that have been apologised for already. Do you think that's more or less likely for everyone to be able to move forward together from? Or or, or might this actually be a fairly divisive thing for the police to do, to to police language like this? Well, well, the reason why I think it should be looked at is because, um, you know, he's clearly a major donor to the Conservative Party. Um, there is a connection between public services. It's our taxes that funds his company. It's a major contributor to his company from the from the NHS. And we have standards to uphold. And I believe if the NHS is the, his main profit from which he comes from, which is, is a multiracial... How, how, uh, how, a how does that relate force, to a needs... police investigation to his comments? Well, well because 
what one of the things that has to be established is that he made the comments and if they if it reaches the threshold of whether it's criminal because at the moment it's as allegations isn't it that he's made the comments mm. right one of the things that could be done i think if someone makes open racist statements which is illegal actually i mean it is illegal to be racist i know is it? some racists don't understand that. It, it has actually is illegal to incite racial hatred oh, that's against different. people yeah but to be honest with you when you talk about shooting a black women because they're black women the question is does that cross the threshold of inciting racial hatred that's down to the cps and down to the police um but what i do think is very clear is that it should be investigated if people believe that crime has been committed wait a minute if he was if he was just an average joe and he wasn't a donor to the conservative party and someone who's received contracts from the government for various things um do you think the police should investigate? So if it was just some random bloke who'd said this on, on the street or on, in, Twitter. Uh, on Twitter or in a, I don't know, in a council meeting or something, I don't know. Would you think that the police should spend time investigating or is it purely because this guy has influence? No, it's because 99% um, of racist comments do not go to the police, right? But when someone says you should shoot an MP in this country mm. after we've lost Joe Cox. Mm. Um, actually, we take and that David quite seriously. We take that, and yet, yes, we've lost two MPs because of people inciting violence to them. Mm. We do draw the line when public servants are threatened with being killed simply because of their mm. race. But we do say you shouldn't do that, and therefore there mm. is a sanction to that. And I that think we can all agree that uh, in, in this climate, or in any climate, even joking about MPs being killed is an awful thing to do. But, but is there not a double standard here? When Joe Brand joked about throwing battery acid in the face of Nigel Farage, people realised that she didn't physically actually want to do that. There wasn't a police investigation. There is an unfortunate phrase that many people use, oh, I, I would shoot them, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't actually mean that they're going to do that. Well, that, that's, are, we, are we not treating these two similar things in very, very different ways, no, no. Joe Brand and Frank Hester? No, look, there's plenty of comedians that have made racist jokes. There's people that pass, like Bernard Manning and various other people. They're not arrested for them, right? That's not what happens. However, when people who are in senior positions in the way we manage our society and are funded through that make racist comments, then actually they're held accountable to for that precisely because we support them more financially that is true mm. that it, because we use large amounts I think there's a very strong argument for him to be made accountable it. but whether it needs to have police time I think that's that's a more difficult question I think is, accountable in terms of uh, I don't know wh whether you in terms of the money perhaps being given back um, and that sort of thing and him being um, penalised very different from having the police investigate the first thing Comments. to see is if somebody believes there's a crime being committed, and that means it's reported to the police, the police investigate it. Hopefully they'll investigate it swiftly. They are the people that are in charge of investigating criminal offences together with the CPS. Yeah, if I think a lot of people would rather they focused on burglaries and sexual assault and robberies and fraud and everything else rather than comments that were made quite a few years ago now. Look, the, but the thank problem, I'll go back to the question. If we want to protect MPs from being shot, right, or the, the, just their face in terms of we say you shouldn't do that or promote that, right, and actually we will take action if you do that, then there's a reason for him to be excused is simply because he gives £10 million to the Tory party. If somebody wore a helicopter um, on their jumper, on the back of their jumper, they would be arrested on the streets of Britain, and we would interpret that as behaving in a certain way. In fact, people have been. There have been 600 arrests based on our concern about what people are thinking. Well, I supporting believe, terrorist organisations is slightly different. Well, to be honest, telling someone you're going to, you want them shot, is a terrorist act. We'd have to agree with that, right? I'm not sure, I'm not sure a reasonable person would interpret that figure of speech as a terrorist act. Well, look, I'm, I'm sorry. If you talk about going around shooting people, because of their racial background. Um, I, well, my view is this, the, the, Klu Klu Klan, the Klu Klux Klan, the um, British National Party, and various organizations that terrorized black people mm. were terrorist organizations. Yes. Now, no people didn't accept that at the time, 
but I do believe that to be the case. And in fact, OK, were... well, I think I think inciting terrorism, I think that maybe is a bit too far, but we're going to have to leave it there. But it's been really good to get your opinion on all mm -hmm. this. Uh, Wayman Bennett from Stand Up to Racism. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.